is there any specific diet that you recommend or any nutritional advice that you usually give to your clients or yeah so the, the first one is sleep is the most important thing we can possibly do for our overall health so dreams aside get seven to eight hours of sleep the research is in it's you know it's undoubtedly true when we get seven to eight hours of sleep it's the best thing we can do for our physical mental emotional spiritual health yeah. and when we get seven to eight hours of sleep that's when we get the most amount of dreaming we dream in what's known as REM cycles the rapid eye movement cycles that time at night when we are in the deepest sleep when our body is paralyzed except for our eyes that's why they call it rapid eye movement and we go through cycles of this every 90 minutes or so the beginning of the night these cycles are about five minutes long whereas towards the seventh or eighth hour of sleep we get 20 minutes of dream cycles. That's why most people can remember their dreams just before they wake up. It's the biggest amount of dream, the most impactful, the biggest, uh, the, the most in depth. And so getting seven to eight hours of sleep ultimately means you get more dream time and you can make more out of your dreams. The other pieces I would say is, you know, there's, there's certain things to get better sleep, which is, you know, sleep in a cool, dark room, keep it dark, keep it cool. Our bodies regulate and, and recuperate better. Um, you know, unfortunately, marijuana, alcohol, uh, these things can definitively diminish our dreams. So I'm not saying don't drink, don't, don't use marijuana, but uh, know that they have an impact. And, you know, for those of us that have learned the, the, the fantastic utility of dreams, it's a conscious decision of when to have a drink or when to have a joint, because ultimately that takes away their sacrifice in doing that. And so the mm -hmm. other piece is really just to try and get to sleep at the same time every night. We are a habitual creature. And if you start to say, okay, can't do it every night, obviously, but 10 p.m., 11 p.m., whatever it is, this is my bedtime. I'm going to try and wind down. I'm going to try and clear my head before bed, let go of the energy and the emotional processing of the day, not worry about tomorrow. I'll pick all that stuff up again when I wake up in the morning. Now's my time to clear my antenna, become centered, be open and receptive to the dreams that are going to come. And ultimately, dream work is a super, super playful process. You get to have bookends on your day. You go to sleep going, I want to dream. I want to have these fantastical experiences. And you wake up trying to recall your dreams, looking at your dreams, remembering all these fantastical experiences. And so starting and ending your days playfully like this is a great way to set the tone for your days.